Warzone 2 is finally here, and if you're anything like me, when you hopped into your first game of Warzone 2, you felt like you were playing with no thumbs, and you were shooting like Helen Keller. Well, fear not, because in today's video, I want to give you some amazing Warzone 2 tips and tricks that are going to help you improve incredibly fast and get those dubs. Now, before we go too far into the video, I do just want to remind you guys that I am currently engaged in a ridiculous slap bet with my brother-in-law, whereby if I do not hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year, he is going to slap me hard in my face. I've realized that this is an extremely tall task. If you could just spare that half a millisecond to smash that subscribe button, I would be eternally grateful. And in return, I offer to give you a metric shit ton of Warzone tips and tricks, as well as uploading the result of the slap bet on New Year's Day. Now let's get on with the rest of the video. Now the first tip that I want to give you is all about speed, getting down to the ground first and looting extremely fast. These first two tips are going to help you be the first on the ground and the first to get a gun every single game, which is going to give you such an advantage in getting more kills and getting a foothold in the map so that you're in the best stead going forward to win that game. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your settings, go to controller, over to the advanced tab and turn your parachute auto deploy off. This means that if you have already deployed your parachute at least once in your descent, when you come down to the ground, it isn't going to auto deploy your parachute. What this allows for is for you to exploit a new mechanic within Warzone 2 that is seriously going to give you the advantage. And that is, there is virtually no fall damage if you are landing in water. This basically allows you to just go straight down to wherever you want to land, provided you want to land near somewhere with water, and you won't have to float down in your parachute. You can just go straight into the water, hop out the water, pick up a gun, and you'll still have enough time to pop the enemy that's coming down towards you. Now, whilst we're talking about speed and settings that are going to help you with this, you also need to change another setting in your controller tab. If you go to controller and then down to interact slash reload behavior, change this to prioritize reload. What this means is you no longer longer have to press X or F or square or whatever you have to press to interact with things. Instead, you can just tap it like you were going to reload whilst you are next to something and it will pick it up instantly and put it in your bag. This will speed up your looting process so goddamn much that it's going to make such a big difference, especially when combined with the first tip so you can automatically have a weapon as soon as you land down on the ground, giving you a much bigger advantage on anyone that is following you. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is your loadouts. I want you to make sure that you are building guns for every single situation. Situation. The way that Warzone 2 works is that 9 times out of 10, you're not actually going to have your full loadout. Instead, you are going to be buying your primary and secondary guns one at a time for $5,000 a piece. What this allows for, though, is that you can build a number of different builds that are going to complement any situation that you're in. Say you're in a very high position right in the final circle and there's a buy station next to you, where you can swap out that Fennec you've been carrying around the whole game, and for just $5,000, you'll be able to swap to a sniper. What this allows you to do is actually build your loadouts with that in mind. Therefore, you don't need to run overkill. Instead, you can run one of the perk presets that has Ghost, which will give you a major advantage, especially in those later circles and especially in solos where UAVs will run rampant. Then all you have to do is save up an extra 5,000 and you can swap out that pistol or whatever you have as your secondary for a much better gun that you have already built. Just make sure that you make enough weapon builds in your loadouts beforehand so that you have the option to take whatever gun you want from the buy station. Make sure you have an assault rifle build, an SMG build, a sniper build, an LMG build, anything that you could possibly need at any given moment, make sure you have built it already so that you have the option to purchase it when you are in the game. And this tip will help you no end because you will always be ready for whatever situation comes your way. Now, whilst we're talking about loadouts, one of the big things that a lot of people are finding is that no matter how you build your weapon in Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2 for that matter, you're going to have a very slow ADS time. However, if you just spend like 10, 15 minutes and level up the signal 50 sniper rifle to level 3, you unlock the Schlager laser. This laser is absolutely amazing because it gives you ADS, but unlike the other attachments that give you ADS, this has zero downside. That means that you're not sacrificing anything like damage range or having a laser visible to enemies for you to get that extra ADS speed. This is a free attachment, and for the time it takes to level up the Signal 50 to level 3, most of you might already have this unlocked, but make sure you slap it on every single loadout that you have available because it's going to 
to help that ADS speed for literally free. And then finally, I do just want to talk about a little cool interaction that you can have with your bat. Around the map in Warzone 2, you can find a number of these ammo stashes that you can just pick up ammo from, as well as munitions boxes that we've had in Warzone 1. Now, the cool thing that you can do because of your bag is say you're running an SMG and you can only hold 140 ammo. Well, if you drop all of that ammo on the ground and then interact with the ammo box or whatever it is that you're getting your ammo from, you can then have full ammo and then stash the ammo that you dropped on the floor. This is What this will do is essentially give you double the amount of ammo, meaning that come those final circles where loot is scarce, you're not going to have to worry about running out of ammo, which when it comes down to it, could be the difference between winning or losing your game of Warzone 2. But there we have it, just five small tips that are going to help you massively in Warzone 2. Please stay tuned for more and I really hope that some of these helped you. Now for those of you who have watched my videos for a while, you'll know that I love to see you six around until the end. So if you're still here, I'd like you to let me know by answering this question down in the comments. Would you rather have no fingers or no toes? Anyway, that's it from me today. I'm Avril Joel. Peace.